Hey guys, what's up? It's Max with Bizav Media. I'm at NBAA Base 2023. I'm standing with Alex Bechtu, Director of Marketing for Boeing Business Jets. He's going to take us on a tour of this gorgeous Boeing 737. Let's get it. Thank you very much for having us. All right. Thank you. First thing is if you look at this small door underneath the jetway stairs, we can use these jetway stairs, but typically the BBJ uses its own internal air stairs, which are stowed beneath the floor, so they mechanically come out. They're electrically driven. You can open them from the inside or the outside, mm -hmm. unlike some where you can only open them from, from one or the other. Yeah. But they're very sturdy, much sturdier than these things, so it's a really nice feature. Allows you to operate into more remote, less developed airports without having a lot of ground equipment. These are the CFM 56 engines on our 737 NG platform, which we stopped making uh, for BBJ about three years ago. Now we're making all Max, but nonetheless, it's a similar type of configuration, and the airplanes are very robust. The engines are very robust. They're built to fly upwards of 4,000 hours a year. So these engines will never come off the airplane, and they're the most reliable ones in the business jet industry. So it's a really nice feature of our BBJ. This it's a pretty good sized airplane. It's based on the airframe and the underlying structure of the Boeing 737 commercial jet. So uh, one of the reasons that its maintenance costs are less than half of most of these other jets you'll see here is because they're built to fly so much that when they're in a business jet environment, they fly so little that the airplane just almost never needs repair and virtually never breaks. The reliability is the single best reliability, meaning on-time performance of any airplane ever built, uh -huh. so in the 737 series. The MAX is now up to that standard as well. One of the other nice features of our commercial platform, if you take a look on the ends here are the wings, is you'll see the split scimitar winglets that add several percent to our fuel economy and reduce fuel burn, reducing emissions and so forth. On our new BBJ Max, we have a, a similar style. You'll be able to notice the difference next video when we do a tour of the, of the Max airframe. I don't think I've ever seen a winglet like that before. Our normal winglet for all of our NGs is just the upward winglet. And then we've added an improved lower winglet strake that improves the fuel efficiency even further. But the other thing I wanted to show you is the cargo compartment on the BBJ. And same as commercial. You don't need ground equipment to load cargo, I mean, unless you really want to load something heavy, because it's at normal height. This is a little higher than normal because it's not full of fuel. Once it's full of fuel, it'll come down a little bit. The front cargo bay here, which looks pretty small for commercial, but for a business jet, you can fit 40, 50 standard suitcase bags in here, and then you have more room in the back. Wow. So the cargo carrying capacity is excellent. And you can load it without, uh, without needing ground equipment again for operation at remote airports or places where you don't have the full infrastructure of a of a of an international airport. Oh. I'll tell you that a couple of times. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so anyway, well let's go on inside. So welcome aboard to the to the VVJ. So coming in the front door, one left is what we typically refer to it as. You'll enter the BBJ and in the very front of the aircraft is our crew rest. And what you'll notice compared to most business jets is we have a couple of fully lay flat seats in the crew rest. I think this actually only has one lay flat seat, but typically we can fit two in here. So when you're on flights longer than eight hours with an extra pilot or 12 hours with an extra two pilots, you have a fully functional lay flat bed for both pilots that's separated from the main cabin area. In this particular BBJ, and this speaks to the, the versatility of the, of the airplane and the bespoke designs of each one, is you'll see an open galley here up in the front of the aircraft. This particular customer typically doesn't fly with a flight attendant, so they like to be able to access everything, the espresso machine, uh, the sinks and everything themselves. And this door here closes if you want to close off the galley from the main cabin area. And the thing you'll notice first looking into the BBJ, we can have a full seven foot one ceiling. Wow. And it extends Pretty much well across. Yeah. And even the, uh, the valence areas here, you can have a six foot four person walk all the way down the walk by aisle, which is another feature on the large business jets you don't have on others. You can have a full walk by aisle, which allows fully private rooms. Wow. 
and still being able to access the entire airplane. So wow. it's a very nice feature. This has a, a full beautiful IFE system, flight following. You can see where your airplane's going, all the different flight parameters, speeds, times, right altitudes, and so forth. This is a nice lounge area. So uh, kind of intended for for family mostly. There's your IFE controls and the hand rest. There's lots of little cubbies around everywhere. There's, I believe, 13 sleeping positions. There's, it's set up for 19 passengers. Wow. Yep. So all these chairs, you'll see them at different angles. You can orient them for takeoff and landing, fore and aft. You, so it yeah, give it a spin. Lever up front, you might, uh, might make it spin around. Yeah, so they start to, start to go around. So these, so you can uh, pull the seat out and have a little more comfortable interaction with fellow passengers, family, whatever. Yep. So, so that's a nice feature. These tables will typically extend up for more of a dining configuration, or they go down for a coffee table configuration. So this is a wide wow. open one. Oftentimes, there's another. You can have a wall in a private room or an additional shower and ensuite. Wow. Yeah, yeah, we've got a little bar. Yeah. Crazy. Yeah. There's some Cokes if you like. Cola. Some water. This turns into a full table, so they have a, a large family, so they they oftentimes will have large meals together. Some of our passengers will have four or five um, flight attendants even, so you can have a really serious wow. five star experience wow. on board our BBJ. Depending, you know, some customers do it. Here you can see the walk by aisle again. This is one of the one of the real hallmark features of a BBJ is the is the ability to have these walk-by aisles that are full height and the private rooms to the side. Again, more storage off to the side. Incredible. And here's the no front. No space that has been left. That <laughs> no, no, no. But this one has uh, two washrooms for the guests. This one in the wow. front doesn't have a shower. There's one shower in this one. Sometimes we have two. So you'll see that plenty of room. This is the first uh, private room. This is actually a little larger than some. When we remove the shower from the forward bathroom, we can then fit a, make it a larger room. Sometimes these are set up as offices for work or uh, the tables, again, they come up, you can dine here. This turns into a bed, so linens in the wall, you can pull out. So now let's go ahead back to the master stateroom. So, <laughs> so here in the master stateroom is a full king size bed in this wow. particular airplane. Now this one, we have a small bench here, but uh, a lot of our customers decide that they want to be able to access the bed from both sides. So there's plenty of room to either get in bed from the left or right. Are we able to test the bed out? Uh, you may, if you keep your clothes on. <laughs> We've had people do it. <laughs> I say that for a reason. There you go. What you really want to do is fall onto one of these. <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> I'm done. I'm, actually done. I'm not even moving. I swear to you. I want one. I don't know how we're going to get one. That's brilliant. It's got a low offer price. <laughs> 39 and a half million for this one. Million. <laughs> Used, so it's a good deal. <laughs> one of the nice features of some of our uh, wardrobes is you can access it from in the bathroom or from the bedroom here. So that's a yeah, handy feature. Lovely, yeah. Lovely yeah. yeah. Very nice. Again, another television in the room. Right, right. This is the master ensuite. It's oh. got a full, full size shower. So six foot four, six foot six. Two meters height, you can fit in there comfortably and not have to. Uh... It's very hot outside. Do you mind if I? Yeah, yeah, go ahead. <laughs> yeah, go. <laughs> I don't mind. The owner might. <laughs> One of the things that reduces the capacity of this airplane some is that the aft uh, exit doors are blocked, um, so that you can have this nice, uh, nice facility in back. But What's around you know, the corner over there. Alex? Around the corner, this is the. Um, this is the wardrobe from the other side. Wow, okay, so this is the wardrobe so, from the yeah. other side, from the master bedroom. Right, right. Okay, cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah, very nice. And very functional, bed. everything's yeah. very usable. This is the toilet. That's so the you, toilet, yeah. So yeah. again, if you want to have enough of you while someone's in the shower, you know. Yeah, right. Well, you know, if that's if, what tickles your fancy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> to each his own, I always say. How many of these nice. have been sold around the world? We've sold... Uh, of this model, about 160, 160. of this model. Brilliant. Of all BBJs, uh, over 260. When a yeah. buyer buys a BBJ, what kind of support packages do you guys offer? 
Uh, well, we have, uh, well, if we start out with a five-year warranty, uh -huh. we have a team that will help uh, an initial owner who's just putting their airplane into service, provision the airplane, make sure that their infrastructure, hangering, parts, spares, uh, engine programs, and so forth, if they have those, are uh, properly set up so that once you start operating, you can operate seamlessly. Uh, we don't do our own maintenance, but we'll help provision to get you the right maintenance and overnight uh, checks and things that you need to do to run the airplane. Uh, we can uh, recommend operators for your airplane. Sometimes if an owner doesn't want to put in his whole entire flight department for themselves, and so there's companies that will uh, run the airplane for you, do the maintenance, do the overnight checks, put it to bed at night, wake it up in the morning, uh, uh, man it with flight attendants and pilots and maintenance and do your maintenance for you. So we can recommend companies like that. Whatever makes it easiest for the for the customer to, to operate the airplane. Amazing. That's yeah. awesome. Thank you so much. Oh, you're welcome. Alex. Yeah, absolutely. It's been a pleasure. It's been a pleasure. Yeah. Thanks, Thank for coming so and, thanks for Speak coming and joining us. Thank and, you. Thank you, Adam.